Okay, let's balance an aluminum wheel. Not that it's much different, but our procedure and our setup's gonna be a little different. So I'm gonna take the cone off. As a general rule, not in every case, but as a general rule, I'm actually gonna use the cone and push it in from the front side. Often, the uh, aluminum wheel, and this one here is not that way, but often a lot of them are so uneven inside here. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not, not here, that's good and flat. But the hole is just, it's not a good even circum uh, circumference here to have a cone against. So I try to find the most circular, consistent type or shape of a hole, which is on the outside. Okay, so I'm just going to put the wheel on. There's nothing on the arbor right now. I'm just going to put the wheel on. I'm going to slide the cone in, obviously pointing in. I'm going to change it up on the wing nut. I'm going to take the big cup off because I'm not pushing the wheel against the cone. I'm trying to push the cone into the wheel. Big difference. We're going to use this little piece here. In fact, sometimes I'll kind of cheat. I'll grab another cone to help push it in because I don't want to spin the wing nut as far. Something I do. Of course, we could use the pedal down here to pump it two or three quick ones to let it spin for me. But I'm going to just tighten it up. I'm going to hold the brake again and spin it. Okay. I'm just going to roll it again. Looks like it's pretty true. There's no bobbing up and down or wobbling, so I must have my setup accurate. Let's uh, do the size thing again. Tell the machine the size of this wheel assembly. I'm going to go ahead and pump the pedal. And this is a 16 inch wheel, 16.7 inches wide, and all that good stuff. All right, so we're mounted. Now, I already know I'm going to have a hard time putting a weight maybe on this inside lip. I'm going to show, we're going to talk about tape weight. So I got to go in here and select a different type of weight and configuration. I'm going to go a hammer on weight on the inside and a tape weight on the inside, on the, on the, in, the, in the middle. Because often on the outer edge, bring it on over please. Often, there's no lip. Now, this one has a lip, and I can do the hammer on weight. But some folks don't like to see a weight out on the outside of their car. It doesn't look good. Or there's just a flat place here, and there's no place for a, a weight to be hammered on. So we have to use uh, tape weights. All right. So I've selected my type of configuration for a hammer on and a tape weight. And we'll, we're ready. Okay, now, we've got to tell the machine where we, want to, where we want to put the tape weight. See this special little arm here? All I'm going to do is grab it and slide it out a little. You hear the machine jerk? It's flashing, saying, okay, where do you want to put the hammer-on weight? So I bring it out, because there's a certain distance from the machine out to the wheel, and it helps in this calibration and calculation of the right amount of weight. So I've got the little arm touching the wheel I'm gonna pump the pedal now we're flashing over here and it's saying okay where do you want to put this weight so watch what I do with the arm don't let it back up and go against the machine you just got to back it off a little rotate it and then I'm gonna slide it in and just kind of estimate how far in can I realistically even go and put a weight so I think it's a flat area in there okay Got it. Now I can let go. And it's going to ask me, do you want to hide the weight behind the spokes? I, I'm not going to worry about that. We're still at passenger tire. Got the road force. So we haven't measured anything about this tires out of roundness or balance yet. It's probably going to ask me to inflate the tire, isn't it? I should have inflated it. Ah. I could just say yes. Because I inflated it earlier. So there's a shortcut. Tell the machine what it wants to hear. Okay. So it road forced it, then it spun balanced, and look at our numbers. Wow, it wants 4.75 ounces. One thing about using tape weight, it takes more lead. 
because I'm balancing in a smaller part of the circle. Hammer weights, hammer on weights, for whatever reason, how the dynamics work, usually is less lead. So, I've got to find, you know what, you already know how to hammer on a weight. You can find a weight and hammer on here. I'm going to do this. Let's get 4.75 figured out. I'm going to push start. And notice how the arrow is pointing straight down. All right, let me show you a few tips. Now, you can buy half ounce weights, one ounce square weights, there's even quarter ounce. I'm going to just kind of do some simple math. It wants 4.75. So I've already calculated. I got one ounce because that's these are two halves. Two, three, four, and a half. I know it wants 4.75. If I'm within 0.25, that's close enough. It's not the end of the world. Now watch what I do with this 4.5 ounces of lead. I'm going to put a slight curvature to it. They're going to sit on the inside of the tire. Okay, and what I didn't set up to do is clean this where it belongs. But, but watch what happens. Back up a little bit. I'm going to grab this arm and this arrow and the wheel change position. So I want you to see that part. This is the whole key of getting these tape weights in the right place. If the machine doesn't automatically move and the arrow come over on an angle instead of straight down, you haven't done something right. So watch this. See that? It moved. I've got a new little arm up here. I've got to slide this out, and that's where it wants me to drop the weight on inside the wheel. Now come in close, and don't let this arm go back. You have to start all over. I'm going to peel off the weight, the backing, sorry. Peel off the backing. I'm going to put the center, see this little spring loaded? It's going to hold my weight for me. So I'm going to center this, best I know how. Okay, my weight is centered there. Now again, I haven't let it fall back. If you let it fall back, you have to start all over. It's a pain. I'm going to swing this around, and I'm going to take it in. Can you see what I'm doing down here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it in, take it in. Now let's look at the screen. How far do I take it in? I'm going to keep going, keep going until those two boxes align with each other. When they align with each other, now look inside here, please. Can you see it down there okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to swing the arm and let the tape sit against the wheel. I'm going to hold the tape weight in place a little bit and let the arm come on out of there. I'll actually get like a, a, I don't know, a handle of a screwdriver or, or a scraper or, or something. And again, I should have sprayed this and cleaned it up really good with some brake spray. This is a movie. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go see if this will spin balance okay now. Stop the film, please. Okay, so we've let go of this little arm. We've put the tape weight on. Now I'm going to put the... 1.75 on the other side. Once again, I'm just going to push start. And it moves the wheel, and I can hammer on at 12 o'clock. So I've got my weight. This has got a little bigger claw on it than a steel weight did, or a steel wheel, sorry. I'm going to hammer this on. I want them to hammer on hard. Think about it. You drive down the road, if these aren't on very tight, they go zinging off at 30 or 40 or 50 miles per hour, and now your wheel's out of balance. So make sure these things hammer on firmly. Okay, we're ready to check spin. We've put our weights on. I'm going to pull the hood down. Let's see how good we did. Looking at the screen, the moment of truth. Okay, so I rounded down. That may have helped. But I think you get the idea of how to use this little arm and using tape weights on the on an aluminum wheel.